Hey, welcome to this mama's house. Today we're doing the biggest Costco haul ever. new to my channel welcome my name is Tabitha on this channel I post ginormous Costco hauls like this other grocery hauls cooking cleaning all sorts of homemaking motivation so I would love to have you subscribe and join my channel if you are new today I'm sharing with you this probably the biggest Costco haul on YouTube ever and I am not even kidding we spent almost $3,700 on this Costco haul. And let me put a disclaimer before we get started. This is how we've always shopped at Costco. We are a family of seven and we have five kids and this is just what works for us. Not everybody would want to make this huge haul in one trip, but that's just how we like to do it. So before I get any hate comments, because let me tell you, I get the most hate on my grocery haul videos. But before you leave a hate comment down below, just know that everybody's different and what works for my family might not be what you want to do. And until you are feeding my children and living in my house, it doesn't really matter. Now this is the biggest haul we've ever done, but winter is coming up and we really don't want to be shopping and like pulling all our carts through the snow. We live in Michigan and it gets really, really cold and snowy. So we are stocking up for a long, long time. My last Costco haul was four months ago and we spent $2,000. So if you break that down, that's $500 a month and about $125 a week. So when you think of it that way, it's not that outrageous. When you look at it right here, it looks crazy. So we're hoping four to six months that all this stuff will last us. Some things will last a lot longer. Things like produce and stuff will have to go to the store more often for those types of things. But I'm really excited to share this with you. We got amazing things today. And like I said, I would love to have you subscribe and join my channel. And let's dive into this huge pile of food. <laughs> over here I don't even know where to start there is so much but I guess we'll just work our way around so down here we have six things of olive oil then we also have four cases of this rice milk and one case of almond milk I also got these organ protein drinks these are like shakes on the go and we are on the go a lot and the kids always ask for me to stop at a restaurant when they're hungry but I thought I would just leave these in my car for moments like that so we can just quickly get them a protein shake and hopefully tie them over until we get home. Then over here we have two bags of the Kirkland dog food. We love this dog food. It's got really simple ingredients and we have two little chihuahuas that enjoy it too. Then we have this huge bag of jasmine rice. This thing will probably last us for a really long time. So that's what I mean by some of these things are gonna last forever. I mean, this is, uh, let's see, this is 25 pounds of rice. This is going to last probably a year for our family. Moving over this way, we have two of the Kirkland medium roast ground coffee. These are really, really good but we definitely prefer the Dunkin'. This stuff is so tasty. So we have four containers of that. Then we have a whole ton of butter. So this butter you can freeze if you want. We probably will end up freezing some of it, um, but we have tons of it here. You can see it comes with a four pack and yeah, just a bunch of them. Then we have some heavy whipping cream here and also some half and half. I like to use it in my coffee and different soup recipes, mashed potatoes, a lot of different recipes. Anything that calls for milk and I just want it to be more hearty, I will use either half and half or heavy whipping cream. It makes it so, so tasty. Then we have some of these uncooked flour tortillas. 
These freeze really well too. So we ended up getting four of them. I like to use these to make freezer meals like breakfast burritos or bean burritos. They're really, really simple to cook and the ingredients are very minimal. So you're not getting all the added stuff that you would in a already prepared tortilla. This is just like flour and salt and that's pretty much it. So we love these for sure. Then I have some of this French bread. I thought this would be good to make little pizza subs on or something like that. Um, garlic bread if we're having pasta one night and these do freeze good too. Any bread item can freeze really well. So we also got some ciabatta rolls. These are really good for egg sandwiches. That's our favorite way to eat them. Um, and these freeze too. Like I said, all these bread items we can easily freeze and we have a huge deep freezer downstairs. Then we got a bunch of English muffins. This is an 18 pack, so we got two of these. And then we got a bunch of eggs. We got 10 dozen eggs here. If you're curious about any of the prices, just let me know in the comments and I will try to um, let you know what things cost if you're curious about that. Then we have a thing of organic Greek yogurt. The kids like to use this and um, make little parfaits with seeds like chia seeds and honey. So they really like those. We've got some of this sliced cheese. Now I always take half of this and I will freeze it and we'll use these on burgers or grilled cheese sandwiches and it's just a really good organic um, Colby Jack cheese. Then we have a lot of shredded cheese here. We eat tacos almost every day. My husband eats them for breakfast a lot and we eat them for dinner every single week but we got some of this um, sharp cheddar cheese. So these are two packs and once again, these will freeze really well. Then we have um, two of the two packs of the Mexican style. And then we also have a two pack of mozzarella cheese. We have some whipped cream over here too. Um, then we have some sourdough bread. So this is our favorite kind of bread. We get it every time we go. So we got two loaves of that. I also make homemade sourdough bread, but sometimes you just need to buy a loaf, you know what I mean? So then we have two cantaloupe here. This was um, a two pack and they looked pretty good. Now I'm looking at this one and it's kind of got a bruise in it. I think it'll be fine. We'll eat it up pretty quickly. Then we have a bag of sweet potatoes, a bag of these little potatoes. They're so, so good. Then we have two bags of Brussels sprouts, a bag of asparagus. I'm going to end up freezing this. It freezes pretty well and cooks just the same. Then we have a bag of these halo oranges, some of these baby bell cheeses, which somebody already got into. Then we have a bunch more produce on the counter here. We have some romaine lettuce. We have cauliflower. I have four well, it's really one. This is, it comes in a two pack, but I have two two packs of these baby carrots. One of these we're going to bring to church for a little um, Halloween party. So I usually only get one of these for us because we wouldn't be able to finish them in time. Um, but then we have three containers of these raspberries. These look so good. This is my favorite fruit ever. Then we have a thing of strawberries. We have two containers of black berries, and then we have six containers of blueberries. Frozen blueberries are such a good snack, so that's why we have so many. We'll end up freezing some of these. We also have some avocados here. We have some of these big carrots for either juicing or adding to roasts. We have some English cucumbers, some corn on the cob, some of these sugar snap peas. I think these will be a good little snack for the kids with some ranch. Then I got this um, huge bag of zucchini and yellow squash. My kids really like this. It's one of the vegetables that all of them will eat, but I also like to make zucchini bread. So I'm gonna use a couple of those to make some zucchini bread. Then we have celery sticks. So we'll also use these celery sticks to juice um, with the carrots. It'll be really tasty. Then we have this big bag of peppers, broccoli. Once we um, notice that this might start going bad, we'll just easily freeze it and it'll last us a long time. We have some persimmons here. So if you don't know what persimmons are, they're really, really tasty. They kind of look like a tomato, but they're a fruit and they're really, really good, but they only come out like once a year. So we love enjoying these in the fall time. Then we have a thing of bananas here and a big thing of grapes. 
We love grapes. Frozen grapes are good too, so we'll be able to enjoy those for snack. Then we have a ton of stuff over here that is non-food items. So I saw this set of three baking sheets. These are non-stick and they're just really, really pretty. So I wanted to get a new set because mine just seemed to be so gross. They're like totally brown. So I'm hoping that these ones will be able to keep nice for longer. So I got those. We have some foil here, some aluminum foil. We got two things of shavers for my husband. This is like a Harry's brand shaver. It comes with the stick and then 13 little refills. And then we have some of this Honest Company shampoo and body wash. This will be for the kids. There's two of them in here. Then we have six things of Q-tips and two of these Kirkland conditioners. Then I got some of these dish towels. Oh, I'm noticing this one has a little bit of a stain on it. Hopefully it'll wash off. Um, but I did get these mostly for photography. So I started a blog, thismamashouse.com. You can go and subscribe down below, but I'll be doing a lot of different recipes. You'll be able to see all this food in recipes on my blog. But I thought these towels were just beautiful and would be really good for like food photography. So that's why I picked those up. Then we have two packs of this, no, three packs of these AAA batteries. Christmas is coming up, so you might need batteries for that. And then we got six packs of the AA batteries. These batteries are really, really good, and we always get them at Costco because it's so cost effective. And then we have this huge thing of sponges, and then I got these for freezer meals. So stay tuned for some freezer meal videos. I'll be using these to make some yummy meals to put in the freezer for us. Then down here, I have my favorite laundry soap that I've been using for probably five years. Ever since we got a Costco membership, I've been using this, but I didn't see it where it normally was, so I actually picked this one up before we saw that was still in stock, and I got the um, Free and Clear Kirkland brand. So we're going to try both out and see which one we like better. We've been using this one for so long, so we'll see if this one is better. We got a case of water here, then we also got this thing of dish soap. It looks like it's partially empty because it is. This cap actually broke off when we were driving home and it spilled all over the car, but that's all right. It'll still last us a long time. So we got that and then we have two things of bath tissue and we have a thing of paper towels down there. Then we have um, two of these variety packs of Ziploc bags. So I mostly wanted the gallon bags, but they didn't have any of just gallon bags. So we got this whole variety pack, and we use these for freezer meals too, or like just freezing meat, all sorts of different things. Then we have two of these, this is randomly sat here, but this is the only food item over here. We got two of these cauliflower crust um, pizza kits. So we really like these, we've tried them before, but it comes with the sauce and everything in here and it's sugar free so super good and tasty easy meal idea right there then we have some of the sandwich bags two boxes of those we have some of these latex gloves we use these whenever like we're cleaning the toilet we try to use them um just random things you never know when you're gonna need them and they actually come in handy more often than you think we also got a bunch of diapers for our baby. So we have two boxes of size two, two boxes of size three, and then we also got baby wipes too. The Kirkland baby wipes are awesome. Um, they're like sensitive, fragrance free, and it's so cost effective. You get like 900 wipes in there. Then we got some of these dishwasher pods and some OxyClean, and then we got this plastic food wrap. So we've bought this from Costco before, and we've actually been using it for five years. It's insane how long this thing lasts us. This is like industrial restaurant status. 3,000 square feet. This will last us forever. We do something kind of funny where we'll write the date when we ever we open it and start using it. We'll write the date on there just to see how long it will last us because it's crazy how long that thing lasts. Then we have some pasta down here. We have this organic wheat pasta. This is just like three different types of pasta all in here. It's a big six pack. Then we got a ton of just regular spaghetti. It's the same brand there. 
Then we got some of this bonza pasta. I like using this because it has 22 grams of protein. So when you need a quick and fast meal, you can just grab this and some sauce and you don't need to cook any meat up with it. You can just make this and you still got a really protein rich meal. Then we have two of these packs of rice ramen noodles. These are amazing, we love them. And then two of the huge, sorry the lighting's kinda weird, there you go. Two of these huge um, Hellman mayos. So I need to take a little breather from talking so much for the past few minutes showing you guys all this food. But I wanted to answer some frequently asked questions that I get on these Costco hauls. One is where do you put everything? So we have cupboards in here, like this is a whole pantry, and then there's a cupboard down there that we don't have any dishes in, so we'll put food in there. We have a cupboard in our bathroom where we'll put like the diapers and the paper towel and toilet paper. And then downstairs in our basement, my husband built us a storage shelf. So we'll put a lot of the pantry items down there. And then in my little um, hallway here, there's three cupboards up there. We put stuff in there too. And we have a huge chest deep freezer downstairs. And then of course our fridge right here. So we make it work. We just put things in different areas and it works out really well. Um, also, I get a question about how long it takes me to put this away. Well, this Costco haul is like an all-day event. We got up and we went, we headed out right away when they opened at 10 a.m. Right now, it is 4.12 and we're still going on um, just like the drive, the packing it into the car, the organizing it for the video, and then by the time I'm done putting everything away, it will probably be nighttime. So crazy, but we are so, so grateful that we are able to buy all this food for our family and feed our family for months on end. So it's really worth it, even though it takes all day. Let's get back to all the food. Over here, we have tons of different pantry items. So I'll just get started. We have this minced garlic. I love cooking with this. It's just really, really easy to add it to a dish and you don't have to actually like peel and cut up garlic. Then we have this Himalayan pink salt. We use this all the time. We've used it for years. And this is such a good price for this huge thing. It's only like six to seven dollars. So I thought that was always a great price. That's why we always get it. Then we got some jelly. We got six things of jelly. This looks really, really tasty. It's black cherry raspberry blood orange jam, and it's reduced sugar. So it doesn't have as much sugar than your regular preserves, and the kids will really like it, I think. So we got a bunch of that for them. We got some red hot sauce, so we use this on our tacos, and I also use it to make chicken wings. Then we have four things of Cholula hot sauce. Like I said, we eat a lot of tacos. Um, then we have some Mateos. I actually got three jars of the Mateos. Two of them are over there. Then we got some of this Wild Planet albacore tuna. This is just something that is shelf stable, so if you like to kind of prep or like have extra food on hand, tuna fish is a great way to do that. Then we have three of these gigantic Parmesan cheese. We have this two pack of ranch dressing. I think this will um, be good for the kids. They love to dip their veggies in it for lunch or snack. Then we got some of this ranch seasoning. I know there's a couple crock pot meals that I wanna try with some of this ranch seasoning. We got some basil pesto sauce, so all that pasta will be able to make some yummy pasta dishes. We have this avocado oil, so this is kind of expensive. It's like $17 for this, but I only use it for my cast iron pans. So we haven't bought this in about six to nine months, and it lasts for a long time, and it's really, really good for seasoning my cast iron. And then we have some balsamic vinaigrette for salads. We have this kale, oh, hold on, let me, this is looking really good, so I want you guys to see it. This is a kale and white cheddar pesto pasta sauce. So I don't know how it is, we've never tried it, but it looked amazing, so I had to pick it up. Then we have three of these jars of bouillon. I think this is one of the things that I'm just gonna kinda keep as like a prepper type thing too, to just have on hand. So we got the vegetable one, and this is the chicken one, and then down there is the beef one. Got a three pack of the Kirkland marinara sauce, and then we have four 
of these Rayo's homemade marinara. It's like $11 for two of these where at most stores it's way more than that and these are bigger jars and it's a two pack. So we got four jars of that. Then we have a ton of spices. So we have a bunch of smoked paprika. We make our own taco seasoning. I can leave the recipe down in the description box because it's so much better than store bought. But um, paprika is one of the ingredients as well as garlic. So we got two of the garlics. Then we also got some basil and oregano for making homemade pasta sauce. I've got some, um, let me see here, vanilla extract. I'm not a huge fan of um, Costco's vanilla, but this actually looked different than the Kirkland brand. So I'm not sure if it is or not, but I thought I'd give it a try. Then I also have some active dry yeast. This is a huge thing of yeast. So I'm gonna have to try to put it in a different container. I'm not sure. I just feel like this brick of yeast is gonna spill everywhere. So if you guys have any suggestions, leave them down below and let me know. Then we have some of this veggie roasting seasoning. I thought this looked really interesting and we have a bunch of veggies that we're gonna wanna roast, so I got that. We've got some fine ground black pepper. We have cinnamon here. We have everything bagel seasoning. This is so, so good. We also have some chopped onion. We've got some steak seasoning. We got so many spices, this is crazy. Then we also got some savory herbs and roasted garlic seasoning that looks like it would be good on chicken. And then another ingredient in our taco seasoning is cumin. So we got two of these big things of cumin. Then we also have this three pack of red gold ketchup. This has no high fructose corn syrup. So I like seeing that. Then we got a huge two pack of mustard. Then I saw this chosen avocado spray. I thought that was interesting. I thought it might be good for when we are roasting vegetables like broccoli. I can just spray it directly on the broccoli since it's not as much a non-stick spray, but it's actually like would be good, I think, kind of as a topping to roasted vegetables. So we'll use that and we'll use that roasted vegetable seasoning. I think we'll have some good dinners right there. So we also have some of this Orgain protein mix. So this is the same as those individual shakes, but this one is the vanilla flavor. So we have two of those. We got a huge thing of coconut oil. Costco is the best place to buy coconut oil. It's maybe like $16 for this huge jug of it. Then we have three apple cider vinegars. I love using this for either tuna salad, so many different recipes, but also as a hair rinse. I know it's crazy. Don't dog it until you try it. Then we have some flour. So we got two different bags of flour because it was limit one but this is organic all-purpose flour, unbleached, and then this one is also all-purpose and unbleached, but it's not organic, but it's still the King Arthur brand, and I love that brand, so we got those to make our sourdough bread. Then we have these, I thought these looked so amazing. I love dates, and these are actually rolled in coconut and chocolate, so I think these will be really, really good, but there's no sugar added. So I'm excited to give these a try. Then I have some of these fruit bars for the kids. They love these. And we also wanted to try some of these. This is called That's It. It's literally just the berries. So it's apple and then whatever flavor it is. So we have strawberry, mango, and blueberry. So I thought these would be interesting to try. Then I have heard from so many people that their organic dried mango is really, really good. So I wanted to try it out for myself, so I got a huge bag of it. Then we also have five bags of this monk fruit sweetener. So I use this in baking because we try our best to not use any refined sugars and um, at least just really limit it. So I use this monk fruit sweetener. It's a one-to-one -one sugar replacer and it tastes sweet just like sugar but you're not gonna have any of the glycemic index on it. So we got tons of those. I also got some of this baking cocoa. Thought maybe this winter we'll make some hot chocolate with it or brownies or something. We got two cans of these peanuts. So these are so, so good. Even the kids love these as a snack. So we got two jars of those. We got a jar of these extra fancy mixed nuts. There's all sorts of different yummy nuts in here. This is a great snack too. And then we also got the cashews. 
Back there we have some Eggo waffles. We're starting to get into the cold stuff, which I need to hurry up and finish this so that I can start putting all this cold stuff away. But then we also found these and I was so, so excited about these. So these are no sugar added chocolate chips. They're sweetened with stevia and this is a huge, huge bag of it and it was only $9. So I ended up getting four bags of these because any other store you go to, you will get a quarter of this amount for $9. So we stocked up on these for sure. We'll be having lots of fun holiday treats with those. I also got some pumpkin seeds, two bags. These are great on salads. We've got chia seeds, two bags, hemp seeds, two bags. You know, we always get those. If you watch my Costco hauls, we always get chia seeds, hemp seeds, and we also get flax seeds, but we didn't see any at Costco today. So that was kind of a bummer. Then we have two bags of these dry roasted almonds. One, two. We have two bags of these pecans. One, two. These are so good in oatmeal. If you've never tried it, they're so good. They almost taste a little bit sweet. So I love pecans. Then we have two bags of walnuts as well. We've got three jugs of the maple syrup. Costco has the best price for maple syrup that I've ever found. This is organic, grade A, and it's $10 for this jug of syrup. So we got three of those. We got two of these huge things of wildflower honey. And now, wait, right here, we got olives, Lindsay olives. These are so good. I don't even like olives, but I love these. This brand is just so tasty and buttery. You will not regret it. You have to try these. Okay, and now we're getting into a lot of the cold items that we got. So we got some of these frozen dark cherries. The kids like to just eat these as a snack. It's kind of like an ice cream alternative. It's healthy, but it feels like you're eating ice cream because it's cold and sweet. Then we also do the same thing with these mango chunks. So these are like a really nice bedtime snack that the kids love. Then we have some of these Weinman wild blueberries. These are the best blueberries ever. And we have six bags of this triple berry blend. Blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries that we use in smoothies. We probably have smoothies twice a week. So that's why we stocked up on those. We also have some organic frozen broccoli, two bags of that, and a bag of just regular peas, and then two bags of mixed vegetables. We love making soup with these mixed vegetables, so we got two bags of it. Then we get this um, guacamole from Costco. It's the Kirkland brand, and this is really good on toast with that everything bagel seasoning that I showed you, or just really good, easy, healthy snack. So we got two boxes of those. These freeze really well too. Then we have some of these salmon burgers. These are really, really tasty. We've got a four pack of ground turkey. Back here, I saw these. I thought the kids would like them. They're just little mini wontons, the chicken and cilantro. My kids love cilantro, so I think they're gonna really like these. Then we have two, three packs of this turkey breast. Um, lunch meat freezes really well. I learned that from you guys telling me that on one of my Costco hauls. So, boom, we got some lunch meat to last us for a while. We got some of these cute little um, hot dogs, these little mini um, smokies is what they call it, but there's no nitrates or anything, and they're just super tiny, so good for kids. Then we have two bags of these Purdue chicken nuggets. My daughter loves chicken nuggets, so she was so funny, and she was so excited when she saw these. And then we also have some of this rotisserie chicken, and this is really good to just throw in and add to different recipes, like chicken um, fried rice or, or chicken soup. It's just already pulled all apart, and it's really, really tasty. Then we have so many bags of these pork sausages. They're fully cooked and they're just a quick breakfast, really, really good, high protein. So we actually we have five bags, yeah, five bags of these. But when we saw these, my husband was like, I wanna make sure that we have enough of these so that we're eating these on Christmas morning. So that's why we have so many. Such a good and healthy breakfast. Then we have some of these pork tenderloins. I plan on doing some crack, crock pot meals with that. Um, we also have some pork roasts. There's, this is a four pack from Costco, so super nice and convenient. Then we love these, like this is totally cooked 
ham and it's so good so lean and tasty we'll be able to easily make this for a meal then we also have a turkey breast this is also pre-cook so you literally just kind of carve it and warm it up and it just makes a really really good meal super quickly then i thought this was cute i don't know what it is exactly i've never tried it but it just says that it's a turkey breast roast boneless so i'm thinking it's kind of like the same thing as this next we have some of these um, New York strip steaks, so I thought those were gonna look really good. We'll probably end up freezing some of them and grilling some of them. We have some pork chops. My kids absolutely love pork chops. So tasty, they're really good in the air fryer. If you've never tried it, you should. Then we have two of these um, huge packages of chicken breast. So it actually comes with 12 chicken breasts. So we got a total of 24 chicken breasts here. Um, and then we got lots of different varieties of bacon because there was actually a limit on the bacon. We usually get this Coleman natural bacon. There's no nitrates or sugar or anything, um, but it was a limit one. So I ended up getting a bunch of different kinds so that we could have a nice stockpile. So this one is a applewood smoked bacon and this one is just thick cut. And here's another Applewood smoke, just a different brand. So we got a bunch of different bacons. We have three of these huge packs of ground beef. Like I said, we eat a lot of tacos. So I will usually divvy this up into those gallon freezer bags and we will have like four meals out of one of these at least, like maybe even five meals. So got a lot of ground beef. We have four bags of these ultimate fish sticks. This is like an easy dinner that everybody loves. So we got lots of them. Then over here we have four bags of shrimp and then I have to walk around now because I can't reach but we have some of this beer battered cod. This is wild caught in Alaska and it looks really good. My husband loves fish and then we got these mozzarella sticks too. Down here under the table we have a ton more stuff. So we have two three packs of Chex cereal and then we have a ton of honey nut cheerios it's my kids favorite cereal and they love it so we got what eight boxes oh my goodness we'll be set for a while then we have two of the kirkland animal crackers they love these and we actually save these containers and they store their toys in them um, then we have some of these annie macaroni and cheese we've got two boxes of the kirkland chewy bars the kids love those then we have two boxes of the power cakes, the Kodiak cakes. These have a lot of protein and they're really, really tasty. You can make them into flapjacks or waffles. Then we found these and I thought this was such a good deal. There is 50 pouches of applesauce in each of these boxes. There's no sugar added and they were super, super inexpensive. I wanna say like $12 for each box. Then we have an enormous amount of peanut butter. We have 16 jars of peanut butter, which is crazy, but this is shelf stable and we'll be able to keep this on hand for a long time. It's not gonna go bad. So um, this is the best price that we've been able to find natural peanut butter that just has peanuts and salt. And this is $9.99 for two jars. Then we have some oatmeal here. So we have the quick oats that the kids love, but I really like steel cut oats. And my husband likes these too. So we got both kinds of oatmeal. We eat oatmeal a lot. Then we have some of these fig bars. The kids love these for snacks. Two boxes of them. Two boxes of Cheez-Its. We got a box of these sweet potato crackers. We've had these in the past and they're so, so good. And we also got some of these um, six seed crunch master multi-grain crackers and some goldfish as well. Over here we have a ridiculous amount of chips, but like I said, we're hoping not to go back for six months, so this will last us for a long time. We've got the Terra vegetable chips, we've got sweet potato chips, we've got apple chips back here, we have the kettle Himalayan salt chips, we got veggie straws, tortilla strips, pirate booty these um jalapeno lime so good we got these two these are like veggie crisps with beans and peas they're really really tasty and then two boxes of pirate booty all right guys everything that we got from costco a huge gigantic haul i hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of this stuff if you did give this video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe so you can see me cook all these delicious meals and thanks so much for being here this 
grocery haul will last my family of seven for so long. We rarely go out to eat, so this huge haul is just what we needed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.